okay so it's another day of me being stuck in a bed can't bother to get out it doesn't make any it's raining i might have gone to the shops but yeah i don't want to go out if it's raining anyway i have a light now don't know if it's going to make it much better but i actually have a light now um and i want to say um so i was thinking yesterday about that freak freak uh freaking video or something i don't know freaky someone made a video about um freaky um something freaky going on with the planet or something and it was weird because i had literally just watched the video um where will smith was talking about um getting freaky with it or something i do know that song but i didn't know he sung it um and it he talked about software in it and it reminded me of a video that i saw that earlier that day with that i can't remember her name that the, the, the annoying christian who or no should i say annoying republican supporter um so yeah i went back to have a look at that video and i noticed that on the side it was that there was another video saying um the the world is i know something about the word freaky freaky something freaky is going on with the world um and in that video they had like these bottled these uh whales that got stranded and i've seen this quite a lot whales going looking like they're going mad or they've lost their direction and you keep trying to push them into the sea and they keep coming back to the land and you know i'm trying to think i was trying to think yesterday like why why was that happening why does that happen um what came to me was was that it, it happens because the human population is getting really really big um the matrix is trying to like reincarnate souls and um because the population the birth rate is from what i've from what I've seen, from what the, the, the rate of the population count is, you know, it keeps going up, even though wars are happening, even though things are keep trying to bring it down, you know, there are a lot of people that cause problems and, and do things like child rape or marry kids or vagina mutilation. I mean, that shouldn't happen. That really should not happen. But anyone who does things like that should not be human. They need to go back into to being an animal um, because they don't deserve to have they don't deserve to be able to use knives if you're going to use knives to sew up people's vaginas. I mean, that just sounds absolutely terrible. The fact that something like this might happen, which is awful. Um, but yeah, so if the matrix is, you know, if, if building up the population, if, if there's a huge number of people that need to be punished for things that they're doing, you know, the matrix is, is programmed to put them back into animal souls or animal bodies. Um, but yeah, then it, where's it going to get all these souls from? You know, human souls don't just come out of nowhere. I think that's what people are, are, don't know and confused about. You know, they, they don't think a lot of people don't even believe in a soul. You know, they just think that um, human is all there is and human is, is better than other species when they don't realize that the soul is actually the same. So as the human population grows, um, the matrix is looking into animals and, and thinking, okay, what's next? And well, as the human population grows, the animal population decreases because you're chopping down forests, woods, you know, you're, you're getting rid of the homes where owls could have lived, where, um, you know, people don't like foxes because they, they kill chickens. And so there's lots of fox hunting, which gets rid of them, which is, I guess, if you don't want them, then that's a good thing. But at the same time, you're just reducing the number of animal population. You're reducing the animal population and you're increasing the human population. And because you're doing this, the um, the, the, the matrix is trying to get more and more souls. And I, I think it's struggling. And so if, if there is like mass animal deaths, you know, even if it's even if it's something as small as crows, you know, I, I think I've heard things, reports where crows just sort of drop out the sky and there's no like cause for it you know these, this thing could be happening because the matrix is struggling to find souls um and it's it's a ripple effect you know it, even if a crow doesn't go on to become because like, crows are actually quite quite clever though so crows might actually be i i don't know what the programming is you know i know that each you know i, I would say that the smaller that they are usually the more violent or, or evil they are but that's not always the case you know there are some incredibly dumb larger animals and there's some incredibly smart smaller animals crows are actually one of the, the smarter ones but um you know if if this matrix needs more human souls it's going to look at the next intelligent most most intelligent animals well because most the next most intelligent animals are things like i guess dogs um or lions but th there aren't that many lions because humans have been killing them because lions kill humans so humans are killing the lion population and you know that they're, they're killing a lot of the most intelligent animals because the t most intelligent animals are the ones that pose the biggest threats to 
humans because they're the ones that are larger, hence they're the ones that need more meals or bigger meals, hence human becomes a sort of menu for them, hence you need to kill them, but at the same time you're getting rid of the more intelligent animals and, and therefore the, the matrix is, is looking for more and more souls and it's, it's choosing the next intelligent ones and when it does do that, well when the dogs and the, the next intelligent ones have, you know, have kids, Again, the, the matrix needs to find more souls to go inside that, and then it starts looking at fish or whales or animals and um, like crows or birds or stuff, and then to, to put into the dog bodies because all those souls that are in the dog bodies are going into the human bodies. You know, I don't know what the the order is. I can't remember. I, I don't remember anything from being a god. So, but I'm I'm assuming that that is the reason why there are sudden animal deaths that are unexplained and. You know, that's what I was thinking when I was seeing the bottled wells getting, sh getting on the shore. It's almost like their soul, the Matrix is telling their soul that their soul needs to be on land. You know, they're, they're too smart or they're, they're the smartest souls in the sea. So they need to, their souls need to come on land and, and become a land animal. Um, but it's interfering with their programming, which is making them swim onto the shore. Um, and humans are trying to push them back into the water. But their programming is... is is telling them that they need their soul needs to be on land and so they're getting confused and you know i am seeing the fish that i'm looking at in, in my tank and I'm, I'm seeing them as as being a type of program you know because for hours every night it's, it's like as soon as it gets dark outside they suddenly turn into statues i mean there's a little bit movement during the day but not so much yeah it, it's, it's at night mostly even if it, the lights are on um or it's, it's you know dim um, there's not that much movement going on in there, and it, but they seem quite happy and content, like they don't want more movement. Um, the, the fish that I think that when I there was a hyperactive orange one that I put in with the the females, and she he did um, she did copy the the other the female guppies, but um, after a while you could you could tell that it was actually getting a bit bored, and I think it referred to being the other tank, um, but. Um, so I feel like that, that had a different type of programming that was more programmed to copy the things around the, around it. And, you know, I, there is some programming that, that links to the soul that, that sort of makes the soul a certain way. But, yeah, when the soul gets more evolved, you know, it works its way up and it eventually becomes human. And um, when the human population expands, um, the matrix needs to find more souls hence looks and, and that's that's just what what's what's happened and i i think when when the population does get too big you know it's going to start creating diseases i don't know if, if god has necessarily done this or if it's just the matrix that are doing it but they, they're creating cancer and creating problems that are, are designed to kill people because the matrix is trying to circulate the souls, you know, life and death is is part of this world and it's part of a healthy world. Um, every time you die, it's, it's not actually a death. It's just an assessment for where you will go next time, you know. And if people stop seeing death as death and rather just saw it as, you know, a set, an assessment for the next life, you know, um, then, it, then it would seem silly to keep people in prison for 30 years for murder. You know, if you've murdered a homeless person, a homeless person who was actually a really nice person but just you know had really bad upbringing or really bad circumstances you know in a, in a way one could actually argue with this programming that the person who's murdered that person might have actually done them a favor because they're going to be reassessed given new parents and maybe this time they're not going to end up in like a foster care system maybe they're not going to end up with the um the lifestyle that they've had with the problems that they've had you know maybe they are genuine people and they deserve to be in in you know in a new life and a new family and a new thing and so maybe the programming could actually be programming evil people into murdering people because the the overall program knows that actually this is helping the people that they are murdering and you know i feel like there's such a, a big picture that people are not seeing because they don't believe in reincarnation and um and yeah it's causing good people to suffer it's causing people that are sensing the program and sensing you know different different feelings and and are being led by feelings and and i i also strongly feel you know why is it because i'm there's this person i think he's actually called it the boar too which is what he's called himself um and he's called himself that i'm just i've been talking to him on one of my fish 
they, um, fish videos that I posted on, on, on online, but you know, he, he's tried to make out that all people want is God's love. And I'm thinking that's not true. If that, if that's what they want, then why, you know, I, I, it's weird. He's, he's saying things that are against what I believe and not true, but at the same time I am thinking about it and I am, you know, I'm, I'm linking, I was linking what he was saying to, to the fish and why are these fish just hovering in this, in doing nothing and yet the other ones seem to be going kind of mad but at the same time I, I kind of like how they're both different I like how one's giving making me feel more energetic and the other ones just look cute because they're kind of copying me you know I, I like I like them for two very different reasons and they're doing very different things but you know maybe they're happy to do what they do because they feel like they're in a way in a way it almost feels like they were trying to impress me and they, and then that kind of got me thinking, well, maybe they're, the programming of many animals is to impress, not me as a, as a human, because I'm not, I'm not around all our species and stuff, but maybe it is to impress the higher, the, the higher programming and God, you know, sheep. Um, I think when people started getting cold, they started looking at sheep with, with fur and being like, if we can steal their fur, then we can stay warm. <clears throat> and I think sheep probably realised that you know, people were stealing their, their fur and not, not being very happy with that, but at the same time, feeling some sort of satisfaction, knowing that they are making humans happy because humans need their fur. And so this is what made their, their wool um, grow longer and longer. You know, when they were wild animals a very long time ago, before humans were really human, you know, they wouldn't have had a use, <clears throat> but they probably wouldn't have grown out their fur because no one would have chopped it, you know. It was only when people started chopping their fur more and more and, and needing it and this need of, of them wanting the wool, you know, this is what made them turn into sheep. I don't know what they were called before they were sheep. You know, there, were, there would have been a stage where sheep didn't need to be shaved every year, you know, before farming existed. Whatever the sheep were back then, you know, they wouldn't have grown as much wool. And as the need, <coughs> I keep losing my voice, as the need for, for wool grew, um, you know, the, the wool on the, the sheep also grew and, and their, their need to be sh shaved um, became for them more important. It's almost like their will of wanting to stay warm, even though people were stealing their, their wool, you know, it made their wool grow more and more. And now, you know, you can't have a sheep unless you bleed, what's it, weed it? Or I don't know what, what the term is. There's a word that you use to, to shave, unless you shave it every, every year you know a sheep needs humans and, and humans need sheep and this sort of love and appreciation of each other has has made the dna what it is um but yeah there, there is an overall scale thing and um and and the sheep do actually have a, a sense of of doing this for themselves because if they're helping humans you know inside I think there is a hidden programming that tells the sheep that, you know, one day you will be a human and you're going to want this wool and, and you're going to want to steal wool off, off other sheep. And so if you can impress your shepherds and, and your, you know, your masters who are taking your, your sheep, your, your wool, when you become the master, you will be, you know, glad that there are other sheep willing to give their wool for you. And, and you know, I, I don't know what the programming is or how, how I did it. Um, but I feel like there is a programming that makes people happy or makes animals or creatures happy if they are making creatures happy around them. Um, you know, no one, no animal wants to be eaten. But if you watch an animal, a, a gazelle or something being eaten by a lion, sometimes they just, you know, they get bit and then they just lie down and say, this is it. This is, this is, I'm dead. You know, unless some, someone, unless some other animals come and help me or a human should, shoes them away you know I am I'm dead and they accept it and I feel like part of their programming of accepting it is part of you know their their conscious feeling that even if they are eaten and hurt they they will die and it will actually be of their benefit you know and as soon as they start feeling this then it, you know that the matrix knows that they're ready to actually become the lion because they've accepted the, their fate and that they're, they're no longer fighting against it but rather they're they're feeling harmony with the, the matrix and the programming but but humans are, are very unattached because um i think it's because they're linked to me more than 
they're, they're linked to me more than the they're, they're linked to more to me than the higher me i'm linked to the higher me and and humans seem to be linked to me through my dna and hence they're getting confused because on one hand I didn't know, you know, I've, I didn't know about, I, I've always believed in reincarnation, but I didn't know, you know, I don't want to believe something if I don't know. And if it's someone I would have asked me a few weeks ago, why is it that, that people seek God's love? You know, I would have just said, well, they don't. Whereas now I feel like I actually have a better understanding of it because I've, I've seen some videos and then this, this Christian angel of the Christians, which is UK. Why K. Osiris? And I've never heard of him or seen him before. And, and there's the other one, Lucas or no, Lecrae. Um, I, I think I've heard that name once or twice, but I didn't know anything about him. Um, but yeah, I feel like together they've kind of made me, just made me realize something. Because I've never seen things from a perspective of Christians because I kind of just see them as idiots. Um, but yeah, now that I've I've listened to these two songs, I feel like I can almost read into their mind as to why they feel a certain way. And I think my higher self is, is taught or speaking to me through their songs about why Christians seek God's love. And, and it's, it's reminding me of, of my fish and how they can be happy just being statues. Um, it's because, you know, of love, but it's not, it's more programming than love. It's like a, a pro. I would say love is a mental illness, um, a kind of type of programming. You know, why did I like Martin? I don't know, but it felt like a type of programming inside me that was making me feel love towards him, even though I didn't know really what it was because it was like, this is silly. And it's just like, well, if it's a programming inside me that makes me feel a bit mad, um, then, you know, the same programming is, is inside all animals, um, only it's slightly different for each species and stuff. Um, but yeah, important video, but I'm, I'm feeling like I can't move. Like I'm, I'm not feeling paralyzed, but I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like those fish right now, actually, right now I'm feeling like, like those fish that are in the tank that are just trying to poise and just, I don't know, feeling a certain amount of happiness, not moving, but it's just like, that's really strange. Why am I feeling happiness or light or enlightenment just by not moving i don't know it's not god's love but it's it's god's programming i, I think